This researcher is studying the environment of a vast, remote area. It's a daunting task. Some of his most important information will come not from the field, but from satellites. But how will he be able to process the enormous amounts of information quickly and cheaply? The answer lies in an exciting new microcomputer system called Microbrian. Microbrian can do the work of larger, more expensive systems that until now have been the only means by which a researcher could analyze satellite images. The Brian in Microbrian stands for Barrier Reef Image Analysis, a system first developed on a mini-computer by scientists from Australia's national research organization, the CSIRO. The leader of the team, Dr. David Jupp, explains. In 1980, the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority approached us to see if we would help with reef mapping. The size of the reef, some 300,000 square kilometres or more, uh, is such that the traditional means of reef mapping, which uh, produce very good and accurate maps, was very time consuming and very expensive. And they wanted to see whether reef mapping through remote sensing could help them overcome that cost and time barrier. Between 1980 and 1984, the CSIRO team worked on developing a mini-computer system that could transform Landsat's digital images into maps showing useful features like water depth or algal cover. Although, as its name implies, the Landsat satellite is a land satellite and not a water mapping satellite. We found through our work that it was able to map water depth and other reef features successfully to the stage where it would form a complete reef database. The Bryan team asked scientists familiar with the reef to label those features of Landsat images that they already knew. This information allowed the computer to identify other areas with the same signature. The Bryan team cross-checked reef labelling with observations of a boat expedition and found the labelling to be more than 90% accurate. As well as being accurate, Brian saved the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority a great deal of time and money. Conventional mapping techniques would have cost the authority $21 million and taken 10 years to complete. The cost of producing Brian reef maps was $250,000. But Brian isn't only smart at mapping reefs. Brian has been used to map features of water, vegetation, and soils. It also has the ability to enhance and process not only Landsat pictures, but images from other satellites, such as SPOT, NOAA and Nimbus, and images from airborne scanners. CSIRO scientists have now joined forces with the Melbourne company MPA to make this valuable tool available to as many people as possible. The capabilities of Brian which was based on a mini-computer, have been harnessed to produce Microbrian, an inexpensive, flexible package based on a microcomputer. Here at MPA, we've adapted Microbrian for use on one of the world's most popular personal computers, the IBM microcomputer. The standard Microbrian package that we market at MPA includes an IBM AT-compatible computer, color inkjet plotter, high-resolution color monitor, and the Microbrian software and full documentation, including user manuals. This standard system can be expanded with a number of options, including larger disk drives, a high-quality printer, and a tape drive. This last option allows the user to have immediate access to images from Landsat, NOAA, the French Spot satellite, and others. Not only that, but when a client purchases a microbrine, they're purchasing at the same time an IBM-compatible system which gives them access to a huge range of software that exists today. Five years ago, a system with Microbrian's capability would have cost about $200,000. Now, for less than one-fifth of that price, the Microbrian system is ready to be used by anyone who can operate a home computer. We designed the menu system of Microbrian to be very easy to use. The menus are arranged in three levels. There's the top level which groups all of the microbrian programs into 
uh, application areas like image management, image integration, image classification. But below that level, the menus arrange uh, the groups of programs specifically to, to solve a particular application, for example, image classification. At the third level is the level where things actually get done, and that's the level where the program is being run, not the menu system at all. Uh, if you enter this from the menu system, there's a, a very simple uh, user interface, but the experienced user can hop right in at this level, at the third level, and run individual programs. And in fact, uh, this is typically the way an experienced user will use Microbrine. In a joint project between the Australian Institute of Marine Science and the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority, Microbrine is being used to analyse mangrove areas on the northeast coast of Australia. The project is led by Dr. Debbie Kushler, who uses Microbrine to locate the mangroves, group them into different species, and then separate them from other vegetation. Dr. Kushler loads the raw Landsat data directly into the system from floppy disk. She then works through a classification process to produce a map showing different mangrove classes. We would like to um, upgrade these mangrove maps once every six months or once every 12 months, compare the maps and see if any change is taking place. This type of study hasn't been done before. Um, simply because we haven't ad had access to satellite technology. It's a long way from mapping coastal mangroves to mapping erosion and fire affected areas in the remote, arid interior. A CSIRO group who helped develop Microbrian is based in Alice Springs and for the past few years they've been using it for a wide range of applications. The fire history mapping project was originally done from Landsat data. In the next stage, we plan to use the environmental satellite NOAA with Microbrine to develop a full fire management package. Another of the projects that we're using Microbrine for is to map pasture conditions in the Northern Territory and South Australia. We found that using Microbrine and Landsat imagery has enabled us to assess vegetation cover on a very wide range of land types. At the moment, we have a project in conjunction with the Northern Territory Department of Primary Industry, which involves using microbrine for forecasting patterns of soil erosion in flat arid lands. Microbrine has a module called Malice, which contains a suite of computer programs which not only allow you to map soil erosion, but to forecast where it's likely to occur. In this way, you can anticipate problems before they actually happen. As well as being used in vegetation mapping and erosion forecasting, it can be used for forest inventory, analyzing sediment loads of rivers, and monitoring crop yield and condition. The only thing limiting the applications of Microbrian is imagination. Mike Aubrey, a consultant geologist, is using his imagination to find applications for the system here and overseas. So at the moment we're doing a variety of geological applications, um, things like looking for potentially gold-bearing greenstone belts under agricultural cover. We're looking at um, uh, volcanic centres and calderas in the uh, Pacific Islands that can be centres of, uh, in fact, of some of the bigger gold mines these days. Getting away from geology, we're looking at agricultural projects, one particular one in New South Wales, looking at uh, uh, crop types, field conditions and uh, water courses in the uh, natural remnant vegetation. Training courses for microbrian users have already been set up at the University of Queensland in Australia and in other countries where an increasing number of microbrian systems are in use. The courses offer participants the opportunity of getting practical experience in using the system to plan, implement and evaluate satellite based mapping projects. Microbrian is an ingenious development in the application of microcomputers.
It's a powerful self-contained system that does the job previously done by mainframes. Microbrian is available at a price which makes it attractive to a wide range of users around the world. MPA offers all Microbrian users a complete after-sales service, including membership of a users group to ensure the best possible use is made of the system. On top of that, MPA and CSIRO are committed to continually develop the system to make it even more versatile. Microbrian is a world breakthrough for digital image analysis.